Right, that's those two locks done on the fly pretty quickly. Ended up chatting to some lovely people who are, uh, I think, either full time or as or, or winter their boats at Great Haywood. So we might see them again when we moor there. So Chris is just coming out of the lock, so I thought I'd go and set this one. It's been a busy old day on the canals today, hasn't it? I think I've just been waffling to the camera and I didn't even switch it on. So, you know, look at you. Missed out on me waffling. I'm sure everything I said was really important. But anyway, you don't care about that, do you? Look at this. Hey, this is wonderful, isn't it? What a beautiful lock. Right, Chris is coming, I better get. I've just seen this little area down here. Because I'm nosy. I'm going to go and have a look. See what's happening. Oh, some beautiful, uh, like... Like tails or something in there. That part of the, uh, oh, that's part of the by wash look. Oh, spooky. Right, I better go. Oh, squidgy, yeah, that nearly fell over. <laughs> right, I better go back up and see what's happening. Right, Chris is just taking the boat out of there. So I'm going to walk up to the next lock, which I think is number four in the flight and then we're done so, fingers crossed this one will be okay so it's quite low this pound i don't know if it's because quite a few boats have come through right, let's go and see what we can find look at that it looks like it's summer doesn't it absolutely beautiful i just thought i'd show you this look because you can see so there's your paddle gate that you've opened you can see it gushing to each side Fascinating. Notice that as we're cruising out, look. Big branch on the prop. Try and pull that off. Managed to. Uh, yeah. I think you managed to get it off with your uh, Italian service. It's gone. To do some tricky manoeuvring because we nearly went into that over there. Right then, I think I deserve a coffee. Right? Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, I'm going. Right, I'm going. See you in a minute. Right. Finishing making my coffee. I don't want to go out because we're coming up to this bit look so we've gone through there beneath the top lock but here there's like a, a gap thing lock I'm not sure what it is an aqueduct or what so we've just come down here so we're going to get the coffee and go and see what that is let's go and have a look train track now I can't believe the blue skies and stuff today it's beautiful I'm glad we decided to stay yesterday at um, at Stone and cruise today I managed to get some um, 
some of my plot sorted out on my book so I was quite uh, quite pleased to get that done There's a secret tunnel underneath the canal. Oh, my mind's going to go to all sorts now, isn't it? I hope he's cranking it. Crank it! No one A. Maybe it's this. Sorry, it's not the most riveting thing. I'm just intrigued. Oh. Well, it must be it, because on the... On my map, it says 101 and then bridge 102. And this is 101A, so this is a new addition then, so it's whatever this is. It doesn't lead anywhere though, does it? The train doesn't go over there or anything, does it? We really don't know what it's for. It's quite substantial, but... Because that's been added afterwards, so it's new. Yeah. Yeah, it must be. It's, it's a big bridge for like cattle, though. Let's see if we can see out this side. Yeah, not quite sure what that's all about. Flick you around and see if it's something to do with these pylons or something like access to them that's been built anyway that i think that must be whatever it is on the map yeah if anyone knows what it used to be before it was 101a interested to know this is on trent and mersey from between stone and stoke find somewhere to moor up soon I think well once we get to I think I could keep calling it Burleston it's Barleston yeah a bit mooring up soon Yeah, it looks like it does, yeah. 
rubbish from the chips. See it. <laughs> Just saying, I wonder if Neil Morris is in there frying up chips. It's his pub apparently. There's the, let me spin you around, post office, which we're hopefully going to go to in a minute. If we can get more in. Right, we're uh, going to get this little moor in here, I think. It's got our name on it. Because, look at them clouds, looking a little bit dark now, aren't they? And it's getting a little bit chiller. So we're going to moor up in this wonderful spot. Get to the post office. And then for me, writing, for Chris, I don't know. Making me some tea. <laughs> I swear on camera. I, I can't do them fancy things where people uh, cover up the swear words. You probably didn't hear him. If you did, just blank him out like I do. Right. Let's get ready. Oh, Where did always go? Flipping dead of the night. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I was just um, filling up my uh, hot water bottle. Just had the kettle on and the gas was gone. So, are you alright? Nice. What is it? Something flying. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has been attacked by stuff. As you can see, it is dark out. I've got a trusty head torch on. He's having to go into the gas locker. Can't film it. I'm just going to end up just filming his backside. <laughs> I'll show you tomorrow where the gas locker is. That's probably a better idea, but hopefully we'll get it fixed tonight. Right, so I've emptied out loads of stuff. Now we're just going to clean the floor because it's full of coal. Hopefully make that look a bit tidier and a bit easier to get to. Right, so we've tidied and hoovered out the bow. Now it's the stern. This is the mess that you get underneath the matlock. This is just after, I don't know, maybe four days or something since we did it. So time to clean all that up and then I'm going to tackle some of the green that the ropes made on the crotch covers. Right then, so that's just all hoovered up. So it looks a, well, it looks a lot better. <laughs> it ain't got loads of bits in it, it's still a bit dirty, but that's winter on a boat, you can't expect things to be clean all the time. The problem is we can wash all this down, but then be filthy again later on when we cruise. Just nice to get all the, the bits of gravel and all sorts of stuff that goes in the boat. Right, next job. Right, so this is the area we're going to try and clean up on the cratch covers because the rope sits on there it's made it go a bit green we've paid a lot of money for these covers so i want to keep them looking good um i'll do a vlog at some point actually on them when we had them installed and stuff and give you an idea of costs and stuff don't know why i keep saying and stuff <laughs> right get to the job right so we've just given those a little wipe down We've not used anything on them because it takes off the waterproofing stuff, but at some point we'll do the whole lot. Might be a spring job really to um, redo it and waterproof it before we go cruising next year. And in true style of when you start one job, I decided to, I'm going to clean this in a minute. It's where the rain comes down with our well, temporary but semi-permanent fix, I think I've explained before. If we don't have these on, the water comes down here and goes all down into the lockers. So at some point we've got an idea for putting some foam stuff on there, a bit like this. But leave that permanently so it looks nice. And then I've got to fix this because the catch broke off. Another job to do as well as painting, let me do that, painting all this lot. So it's all been prepped, um, it just all needs painting. But again, that's probably a job for a, a marina where 
we can then leave it a few days um, without touching it or anything like that. Um, so depending on um, temperatures and stuff, we might do that when we're in the marina. Before we go away, then at least it's got like a good few weeks to dry. Right, let's shut up and crack on. Doing your jobs. Thank you, Seth in the outside of the boat completely pointless in winter isn't it yeah. sure you get the good side right so got totally carried away and started doing this side look that looks a lot better not going to do the other side we're planning to turn around tomorrow so we'll do the other side I'm going to give the boat, giving the boat a bit of a wipe down. But it needs um, hose pipe on it and probably some soapy water. So the bow's looking better looking there. Obviously Chris has still got all this grinding to finish off, but it's nice and clean. And just give the bow a wash. Another job that we need to do, look, is touch up all this paint that's come off when we painted it at Langley Mill. We didn't really give it long enough to cure before we had to move and the ropes have been on it, so another job. Well, she's looking all right, isn't she? Might get on the roof in a minute and um, clean the solar panels because they're looking a bit dirty. Next job. It's cold today, though. Let's see. Right then. Right, so just wanted to show you what Chris did last night when the gas ran out. So he had to swap them over lot. The one's empty, which we'll have to get a new one at um, what Gee. marina we're going in, Great A Wood. And the last one, we think it's lasted about six six months, do we Each reckon? Bottle, yeah. yeah, about six months. And they're anything from, I don't know, what? Four, 45 four, to 50 quid. Yeah, something around that sort of matter. I think we might have bought one a bit cheaper than mm. that when we first got the boat. Five or six months gas. Yeah, but that's six months gas, which only runs our... We only run the cooker. ...cooker off it, off it so, you know, and nothing else. Right then, back to jobs. I'm too old to be doing this. <laughs> Sorry. fall in, make sure you keep filming before you rescue me. I think of the numbers. That's really green. Right, different view of the boat for you. This hatch is going to be painted over at some point. So, cleaned all them lot. looking a lot better they're quite green on the edges still got this side to do but we'll do that when they turn the boat around yeah looks good happy with that